Welcome to this video. I'm Dr. Gloria Horsley with the Open to Hope Foundation, and I am at the ADOT conference, and I am privileged today to interview Casey Hodes. Hi, Casey. Hi, Gloria. Thank you for this opportunity. Now, Casey, tell us who you work with. Well, I'm in private practice. I'm a licensed professional counselor, and I do primarily loss and grief counseling with um, people ages, uh, well, adolescents and up. Adolescents and up. So tell us, what's some of your advice for adolescents? Well, that's, it's a tough group. Um, they Naturally, they feel very alone um, and uh, seeking to belong. So it's uh, very important um, that they know that, that there are people out there that they can talk to and that they can trust. That's a primary need of that group is to feel that they can trust you. Now, if I'm a parent who would like to get my adolescent into counseling, how do I do that? And, and that's tough with adolescents. And, so, and sometimes it's important for parents to know that it's a long process. It can be it can be quite a long time before the adolescent starts to buy in to the process. So it might be tough to get them to come in. Um, but if you let them know that this is confidential, I think that's the, the main thing that adolescent wants. An adolescent wants to know that you're not going to go that the counselor's not going to go telling their parent everything that they talked about um, so that they do trust you. Um, that is one of the basic uh, needs, I think. The basic um, goal of therapy is, is a trusting relationship. So that's important with adolescents. So I'm watching this, and one of the things that I think that you can do also is to come in yourself and meet you and also maybe do some counseling yourself. Yes, yes. Um, I, I, I actually see um, some families. Sometimes I start with the adolescent and then we might bring in uh, mom or dad um, and do some family or, or group counseling too. Um, but uh, it's important for the parents to, to also trust the counselor. And, and I always, I welcome questions. I do, I'll do a phone conversation with the parents to find out any of their concerns um, or trepidation. Um, if they've never been in counseling before, um, yeah, I'm always happy to meet with the parents one-on-one uh, -on -one first uh, before I meet with the child. All right, so what are the tips for us to know about grief and loss? What's your thought about it? Where do you come from on that? I think, I think self-care is so important, and it's so important to know that what you're feeling is normal. Uh, grief is all over the place. You can feel like you're going crazy. Um, and a lot of my work, I say sometimes like 95% of what I do is telling people they're not crazy. They're just grieving. And no matter what you're feeling right now, it's normal. All right. Well, how do people get in touch with you? Well, I have a website, kchodaslpc.com, Raleigh, North Carolina. All right. Thank you so much for being on this video. Thank you. And thanks for all the work you're doing in this field. It's a very tender and touching field, and I love when people are looking at it and concentrating on particularly people who understand grief and loss, and thank you. Thank you for getting the word out. Thanks for watching this video today. I'm Dr. Gloria Horsley with the Open to Hope Foundation, and we want to remind you, if you've lost hope, please lean on ours until you find your own, and God bless.